Playing chess is one of the only ways that Dede Kurniawati can interact with her mentally ill brother, Asep. For 16 years, he has had schizophrenia. Until he was prescribed the correct medicine one year ago, Asep was violent and hard to control. It would be good to have some proper help. At least I could learn how to handle him when he's angry. That help may be on its way. Starting this month, two mobile mental health units will travel around South and Central Jakarta. It's part of a non-profit pilot project, and until September, they'll offer free counselling and try to dispel the stigma attached to mental health through awareness campaigns. But the underlying problem is we have a very limited facilities for mental health. And we cannot just build mental health hospitals everywhere. And so we come up with this model project, maybe an outreach to the people. Indonesia has just one trained psychiatrist for every 417,000 people. But in a country where many people don't know or don't acknowledge mental illness to be a medical problem, experts say this isn't surprising. Mental health workers simulate a counselling session in their mobile unit. They say if their time on the road is successful, this service could be rolled out across the country. We don't think about uh, the mental health problems only in big cities like Jakarta, Surabaya or Bandung, but we have to do also uh, mental health problems and mental health problems promotions in other uh, like village or, or uh, you know, uh, rural area. In his neighborhood on the outskirts of Jakarta, Asep is known as the crazy guy in the corner, but his family still hopes that he can get better. And if mental health care goes mobile in Indonesia, some of the help they need may finally reach them. Nididat Al Jazeera, Jakarta.